William H. McNeil, the prize-winning scholar, who wove the stories of civilizations worldwide into the landmark The Rise of the West and helped pioneer the history of disease and epidemics in plagues and people, has died at age 98. McNeil wrote more than a dozen books, notably The Rise of the West, published in 1963 and greeted by the New York Times, as the most stimulating and fascinating work of world history ever released. McNeil always looked for new ways to explain the world. He did not track change through the feats of great men, but through everyday innovation, technology and the mixing of cultures. His other works included The Pursuit of Power and a reluctant biography of his fallen idol, Toynbee, written on request by Toynbee's wife. In 2003, he collaborated with his son, J.R. McNeil, on The Human Web, A Bird's Eye View of History. His memoir, The Pursuit of Truth, came out two years later. He was born in Vancouver, British Columbia. He was an undergraduate at the University of Chicago and a graduate student at Cornell University. His formal education was suspended in 1941 after the attack on Pearl Harbor and his enlistment in the Army, in which he served five years. A turning point came in the early 1950s, when he accepted Toynbee's offer to come to London and assist on a project about World War II. After two years, McNeil was disillusioned. He found that Toynbee resisted new ideas and was sloppy in his scholarship. McNeil returned to the States and worked on what he knew would be his big book. I typed the manuscript of The Rise of the West on a portable underword noiseless typewriter that my parents had given me as a 21st birthday present, he wrote in his memoir. It was accompanied by a verse my father composed inviting me to write a book of lasting worth.